नमस्ते एवरीवन इट्स प्रवीण हेयर आवर टुडे वीडियो टॉपिक इज अबाउट स्ट्रेच फॉर बिगनर एंड दिस वीडियो विल बी आल्सो वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर हु आर क्वाइट वेरी बिगनर इन द योगा एंड देयर बॉडी स्टिफ एंड इफ दे डू नॉट हैव इनफ टाइम टू प्रैक्टिस योगा सो दे कैन दिस वीडियो कैन गिव यू द ऑल स्ट्रेच and uh, you can get benefit by all this stretch or it's good like if you have the pair of block and uh, if you have the step might be doing some practice uh, uh, you need it uh, this props so here we go first we go for the some arms and the shoulder stretch both arms up with the inhale interlock your finger exhale just stretch your arms get the maximum stretch and also try to suck your stomach in and just stretch 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 and stretch and inhale and exhale then come back we practice one more time inhale interlock finger palm facing up exhale just stretch your arm stretch your arm stretch your spine and look up at the ceiling give the maximum stretch like you target to touch the ceiling and exhale then relax your head and the stretch just try to interlock your finger from the back side take a breath in inhale first maximum expand your shoulder suck your stomach in expand it your heart center drop your shoulder blade and drop your head and head up come back inhale and exhale try to suck your stomach in and then bend forward and touch the mat come back inhale then go one more time exhale drop shoulder drop your head inhale come back exhale the same suck your stomach in lengthen your spine and then touch the mat lift your both hands up inhale come back and exhale the mat in some cases might be uh, shoulder stiffness you are not able to touch the mat so in this case you can take a block and you can make the spot with the block like in here and axel bend forward and you can hold it you can hold as long you can so this is about the another shoulder stretch we go for the next practice put your both arms behind of your feet same thing like if you are not able to press your palm so you can take the block Put the block. Your palm on the block. Inhale. Stretch your spine. Open shoulder. Axial drop. Shoulder and drop. It's a very nice stretch for your shoulder opening, for your upper back opening, and for open your lungs. Hold as long as you can. Have a few deep breath. Inhale. Come back. and axel palm on the knee and just squeeze practice just one more time the same you can practice with block or without block you can do practice inhale stretch your spine expand shoulder axel drop shoulder and drop your head you are focused on expanding your shoulder and your upper back hold for a few deep breath four three Two and relax. Inhale and exhale. Palm on your knee. Suck your stomach in. Squeeze up your belly and just look down for the relaxation. So this was the another shoulder stretch. Another practice for the shoulder and for the arms. You just take the straps with you and hold the strap. Here we go. Some arm rotation. That's a very good practice for opening your shoulder. Or just the gap as per your shoulder uh, flexibility. Inhale, both hands up, and exhale very slowly, both hands down. Inhale, both hands up, and exhale, both arms down. If you have enough motion in your uh, shoulder, you can close the gap. Inhale, exhale, then slowly. Put your hands down. You will feel the very nice opening in shoulder. Inhale, both arms up, and exhale, then down. And might be somebody's shoulder is very stiff and tight. 
so you can make the bigger gap. Means you have to adjust the gap as per you are showed flexibility. You can go for the 10 times, but try to practice with the breath. Inhale and exhale, then down. Focus on opening shoulder. Inhale, exhale, then down. So we'll go one more time. Inhale and exhale. Slowly put your arms down. Inhale and exhale. Slowly put your arms down. You can feel a very nice opening in your shoulder. We go for some side bend stretch like open arm shoulder level. Inhale and exhale. Drop your right arm and then left arm straight over the head. Try to do not sink your shoulder. Be relaxed and give the maximum extension on your right side. Come back. Inhale. Exhale. Just on your left side the same. And then right arm straight over the head. You can go for two repetition. Come back. Inhale. Exhale. Same. On your right side. Left arm straight over the head. Usually, sometimes we are bending on but no. Try to maximum keep it straight. Come back, inhale, and the same, another side. On your left side, right arm straight over the head. Come back, inhale, a little change this time. Your right arm a little bit challenging and drop your right elbow and left arm straight over the head. Due to stiffness in the hip and due to not in a flexibility, might be sometimes knees going down. In that case, you can do one thing, you can take the spot with the block and you can drop elbow on the block. You feel good and it will be more relaxed for you. Come back, inhale and now the same, you can take the block, spot from the block or without block, you can do practice. That will all depend on your flexibility. Another, right hand on your back, left arm up, inhale, stretch your left arm as maximum, stretch your spine and exhale, bend on the right side, a very nice stretch, hold for the few breaths, normal breathing, come back, inhale, exhale, relax, same practice, other side, right arm up, inhale, stretch your right arm, stretch your spine and exhale, bend on the left side. Hold for a few breath, normal breathing, but breathe continuous, inhale, then come back and exhale, then relax. We go some another shoulder stretch, raise your any one side like the left arm up, left hand on the back. I'll show you the back side and then you are interlock your finger from back side and just stay there for a second. In some cases, it might be uh, because of the shoulder tightness, you are not able to grab your finger, so you can take the spot with the step. And then you can also practice. Same practice on the other side. Your left arm up, interlock the finger, and then just try to hold it. 5, 4, 3, 2, and then 1. So you can repeat two or three times. It's also a very nice stretch for your shoulder. And then just keep your both legs straight and relax your legs. Move your knee, just relax your knee. Ankle stretch, feet together, toes point, flex feet, toes point, flex feet, toes point, and just flex feet. And rotation. Ankle rotation, make sure your leg straight and you have to lock your knee. And no need to do very fast, just a little slow. Other side. And just relaxing. Now we practice some gentle uh, hip opening stretch. Take your any one leg, like your left leg, and put on your right upper thigh. But make sure your ankle should be come on your upper thigh and heel near to your lower half. And just gently push your knee up and down a few times, few repetitions, three, four, and five. And you can be just stay there. 
one, two, three, four, five. Some cases because of the knee pain, hip tightness, you are not able to push your knee. So you can take the spot with the block and you can put the block under your knee. It will be very safe of practice. Same practice, other side, right leg, push your knee down, one, and very, very gently. No need to give just like that. It should be slowly, it should be gently, and it should be smoothly. And after, just hold for a second, five, four, three, two, and then relax, relax your leg. You can practice, bend your any one leg, your left leg under hip, knee closer and spine straight and hold for some time. Five, four, three, two, and one, relax your leg. But take care, any case, anybody has knee pain, ankle pain, so they please avoid the knee bending motions. Five, four, three, two, and then relax. Here we can practice bend the both legs. We see the thunderbolt pose. Both legs under hip and feet a bit out so that you can put your hip in between your feet and just stay there for a second. Some cases knee pain, ankle pain, and because of hip tightness, we are not able to push hip down. So we have alternate for that. You can take the spot with the block. You can sit on the block, it will be easier and comfortable. You feel not good, so you can take one more block and then you can still enjoy the spot. So you can practice with block or you can practice without block. Another practice for in the butterfly, just keep your feet together and your spine straight and very gently swing your both knee to back. This is also very gentle practice. When you have a free time, um, you can practice this exercise in the butterfly. It's a very gentle and uh, uh, big knee practice for the hip opening. Take the knee up and then down. You can practice for one minute, you can practice for two minutes. It depends how much time you can give it. And after, put your both palm on the knee and very gently push the knee down, one, two, three, sometimes we are giving the jerks like that. So this is very wrong practice and it can be cause any injury also. So be safe, be gentle and very smoothly, six, nine and then ten. After another practice, inhale and exhale, just try to bend forward as maximum you can go down even here even here or even you can test the back come back inhale you can repeat one more time exhale bend forward and then touch the ground stay for the seconds four three two and then relax some cases some member they cannot touch the mat so they can take the block also we have so many easy option and then you can enjoy this practice and just stay very nice practice for the hip opening and then relax your both legs some other gentle practice put your left leg on your right upper thigh and after bend forward and hold your right foot take a breath in inhale and when you exhale Try to suck your stomach in, lengthen your spine and then if you can, touch your right leg. If you are not able to hold your foot, so you have the strap and you can take the spot with the strap and just stay. Common mistake, squeezing spine, hunching spine. No, try to maximum lengthen spine. Suck your stomach in and then bend. You can touch your leg or not, it doesn't matter, but main focusing on your technique and the alignment. And then try another side. Take your right leg on the left upper thigh. Remember your ankle upper thigh and heel to the lower abdomen. And then hold your foot. Same options you have, inhale and exhale, bend forward. Suck your stomach in, length and spine. Stay there, normal breathe. Four, three, two, and relax. Inhale and 
exhale, then relax. These are the subject practice for your uh, hip opening. Another we go for some gentle twisting. Legs together. Put your left and right leg, right knee to hip. Inhale. Spine straight first. Exhale. Suck your stomach in. Relax your shoulder and very gentle twist and just look back. Your shoulder, your head in a line. Inhale, come back. You can hold for seconds and exhale on the same. Palm here to hip. You take the spot from the palm, suck the stomach in, spine straight, relax shoulder and look back. You can hold for a second, slow and breathe. Inhale, come back and exhale. Back. Another gentle spinal twist pose, bend your right leg. Right hand near to hip and drop your left elbow on the right knee. And with the support of your right elbow, Keep pushing your knee behind your shoulder. Same technique, stomach in, exhale, spine straight twist and look back. Your knee, your shoulder and head in a line. Hold for seconds, four, three, two. If you are in a flexible, so you can hold your big toe, you can hold your leg also. Some cases, even you are not able to drop elbow, you can hold the knee and then you can be practice. Same other side, your left leg, left knee to hip, your right elbow on your left knee. Inhale, spine straight, exhale, and twist and look back. Be gentle with your practice, hold for a few seconds, normal breathing, four, three, two, and then relax. Twisting is a very nice practice. Another just a forward for the game, bend forward, you can hold your big toes or you can hold your feet. Same thing, inhale and exhale back forward. Any forward fold is based on the same technique. Never hunching your spine like me. Always spine straight, come up in, lengthen spine and then back forward. Can work? So same thing, you can take this spot with the step and then you can try. Even you can practice here. Enough. Just stay. Stay. Four, three, two, and relax. You have a very nice stretch in your car and your hands. Okay. So now we go some practice, uh, some general uh, uh, back bend practice in the cobra pose. You just lying down with the chest. I'm combining all different different stretch in our video. So this is the Cobra pose. I will teach you some different variations in the Cobra pose. First practice only drop your elbow. But make sure your elbow to shoulder in a line, your hip on your mat. We you practice the breathe, inhale, press your palm, your elbow and exhale. Keep pushing your chest front, expansion in your shoulder and head up. Keep extending your heart center. A very nice stretch in your upper back. Or any time if you feel stiffness in your spine, you feel some pain in your spine, so you can take this position for, for a few minutes, two minutes, three minutes, and you will get very good relax and very good stretch your spine. Relax. You can repeat two times, you can repeat three times, it depends on you. Other practice, another variation for the pose, your palm together and your palm under your chest. And very gently with the breath, inhale, push your palm and lift your upper body, lift your chest. Same thing you have to practice here, pressing palm, expansion in your shoulder, pushing the chest front, stomach in, extending your heart center and head up. Some cases somebody feel still is a very difficult, challenging, so you can put your arms front. It will be easier. Still feeling difficult, you can put your arms a bit more front. So you can adjust by yourself. Or you want to go for some a little bit challenge, some little challenging, so you can keep your palm inside, more inside. So it all will depend on your spine flexibility. Hold for seconds and then inhale, come back 
After every pose, try to give some time to relaxation. One more variation only, you will not go so many. Palm side of your chest. Inhale, press your palm and lift your chest. Elbow inside, not outside. Inside the chest, same thing pressing palm, actually heart center, push your chest down. A little bit, bend your elbow. And then keep pushing chest front block. In that way, you can work in your mid back opening, in your thoracic opening. Hold as long as you can 5 pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds. Normal breathe. And when you finish, inhale and exhale. Then come back. Give few seconds for relaxation and observe the change in your body. We go one more practice, that is we say the half bopos, earth dhanukhasana. You have to bend your legs and hold your ankle. Take a breath, inhale, lift your chest and exhale, lift your legs also. A very nice pose, opening your shoulder, your whole spine, upper to lower, strengthening your legs, your hip and also strengthening your core muscle. Give a very good massage to your abdomen muscle, to your internal organs. Stay for a few seconds and inhale, then come back and exhale, then relax. You can practice one more time the same pose. And uh, then we go some posture which is uh, for Give some hamstring for the hip opener again. Just lie down with the back. Take any one leg up first, like right leg up, and hold your right leg. You can hold your big toe, you can hold your foot, cannot, you can hold your ankle, cannot, you can hold your calf, cannot, you can hold your knee. Still, you are feeling difficult, so you can take the spot with the strap also. And after, pull your leg. Pull your leg as per your convenience. No need to give jumps like this. Just wherever you can. But just try to stay. 5, 4, 3, 2. And then relax. And bend legs. Hug your knee. And press your knee to the chest. And then just relax. Other side. Hold the leg. You know all kind of the options. Pull your leg to your side, just hold for a second. You can have a very nice stretch. Stay for some time. Five, normal breathe. Four, three, two, and then relax. Then bend legs, hug me, and press your knee to the chest. These are the very gentle stretches. You can come in a butterfly in the same position, or you can palm on the knee. And you can be just a little bit moving, you can, you can swing your knee, or you can hold here also for some time. Another, just bend legs, hug your knee, and press your knee to the chest. This is also very relaxing stretch. Anytime you feel tired with your spine, just come back home, or uh, you can lie down in this position. It's also a very nice pose for the gastric problem. And then just relax. In the Shavasana, for 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, depends how much time you have and the class. So the, the today we just practice some very very uh, common and some basic things which anybody can practice by their self. So I hope you like this video. Thank you very much. Keep doing yoga and get the maximum benefit from the yoga. Take care.